This video shows you how to analyze your first BSM data file using sample data downloaded from our website. I'm going to download two files from the group labeled BSM with PS data. The first is a compressed BSM file. When your browser downloads the file, it may uncompress it, in which case it will look like a generic document icon. If your browser doesn't uncompress the file, the file icon will have a zipper down the middle. In this case, just double click the file to uncompress it. Next, I'll download the PS log file. The PS data is optional data that can enhance Apple's BSM audit data. Your PS document icon will probably look like a generic document icon and will not have the PS logo on it. The PS icon in this video is an artifact from another program I have on my system. The pane in the upper left corner shows each process identified in the BSM audit data. When possible, the program name for the process is also shown. Clicking on a process shows additional audit information in the other panes. But what about these processes without program names? These are processes that were already started. They were already running before the BSM audit file was started. This is what the PS data is for to augment the missing information from the BSM audit data. See, the optional PS data tells us the program names for all these other processes. See the built-in help documentation for details on generating the PS log data. I hope this has helped you get started with Audit Viewer. See the built-in help documentation and our website for additional information.